ritual to bring her to life in our world because it's using power of a vehicle. As she says a lie, however, I'm stuck. The figure that I see that maps you out got scrambled. You can't go to a point where you can't talk and walk. Elton, help me. No, 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 this is serious. I hear energy. It's like stuck in power mode even though the switch is on. No. Way. In the keyhole, it's not turning on. 12 foot figure standing over Jerry. Pretty hung themselves in the middle of the bridge. It looks like a noose. There was a veil of energy. I just saw a pier, like right here. You're actually scared, Jerry? I'm, I'm scared. Point to the direction of where you are. Something feels off. Evan, we're looking at it. Go like that. It feels like a dream. Well, that didn't look like you in there. It sounded like someone crying. <laughs> Got your energy, your presence, I feel in the car right now. We saw a white figure for three, four minutes. This video is by far the most important and meaningful investigation we have ever done. In our five years, this just changed everything for how we're going to move forward with what we do yeah. with our investigations. Yeah. We were trusted with someone's true story, something traumatic, something I cannot begin to understand and fathom what it feels to go through that. And all of that tragedy started right here. Yeah. And we came back tonight three years later to see if we can help find any documentation of the paranormal existence here. And we did. And I think moving forward, the focus of this channel needs to be finding more stories like Whitney's. So if any of you, if you know someone that has had something traumatic happen due to paranormal events or are currently dealing with it, you're gonna put a link right here where you can now submit what is happening. We want to come out and help you. Yeah, 1 million percent. Yeah. Whether it means us being there, and finding experts, whatever it takes. We want to find ways to help not only the spirits, but those on the same world that we live in as well. Enjoy this video, watch it through and through. And uh, Whitney, thank you for, for trusting us to uh, tell your story and find proof of the paranormal. Cora, we have talked about doing something like this for so long. I know. It's just crazy that we like met Whitney on Haunted Homies last year yep. on a tour that we only did once in that style. Mm -hmm. And we, now we happen to be driving through the area. I know. So I know. We've never done anything like this. I'm excited. Hey! Hello. Thank, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a hug. <laughs> it's been a while, almost yeah. a full year since we've seen you now. Yeah. That was been a year! <laughs> Hope you've been good. Absolutely, I've been good. Good. good to see you. I know. Thanks for inviting us to your town. Yeah. I figured we meet at a church first. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We brought stuff that was given to us. Mm -hmm. A lot of protection. But it's, but it's not like bound to us. So we have like blessed salt. We have like Patty Negri's like protection necklace. So we have all of these different things that we can give you as well. Yeah. Just um, if you want to feel more safe. You know, you can just put them in your pockets. You can wear the necklace. I really appreciate like that. that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why do you want to go back? Just, I guess, to prove that. I guess I'm not crazy. Okay. Do you feel that way? I don't necessarily feel that way, but I do think people perceive that, especially when I go to tell them the story. Because just the story itself is crazy to hear. Yeah. Just whenever I tell a new person, I'm always scared, like, they're going to think I'm crazy. They're mm -hmm. going to think I'm, that I didn't see anything. Literally for years, we have yeah. said, we want to find someone's story, like, you know, someone who watches the channel and, you know, and see if there's some way to help them or learn something or investigate or add value in some way and then it was like your story was like the one that we were like oh like like did it feel comforting to kind of share your story with like people that you knew were gonna believe yeah you know? um especially like because i've like watched you guys like for years so it i just i felt very comforting because i'm like they're gonna like they're not gonna think i'm crazy yeah and it it just felt really good to finally get it out there because I hadn't told many people before you guys. Jeez. Um, How many people do you think you've told before us? Like a handful? Yeah, not even that. 
it felt really good to like get it out there especially with people who i guess do this for a living mm -hmm. yeah. yeah no a hundred percent oh my god are we professionals <laughs> do we just get do we just get called professional ghost hunters wait are we are we I, <laughs> would, you, would you say we're professional ghost hunters i would think so <laughs> She thinks so well, too. <laughs> we're professional. Tonight, and what we're doing with you is, without any doubt, the most meaningful thing we have ever done yeah. in the paranormal space. Yeah. Because every other investigation we've ever done has just been locations that already exist, that people already go there, and we're not really providing any benefit to like someone in the, in the same world that we live in. Right. We've had conversation with spirits, maybe we've provided them joy for the evening, but to be able to actually like perhaps help you feel more comfort or, or confident yeah. or assurance or, or anything else plausibly stop other people from doing the same thing here in the future yeah by like you by confirming it and validating everything you yeah. know so i think that's something Corey and i have been like seeking out for a very long time is like how can we take our professional skill set yeah <laughs> of ghost hunters and actually like do something with like positive meaning behind it yeah so I guess in advance, thanks for trusting us. Yeah, thank you. Well, we walked down the road, it's about like a 10, 15 minute walk. Would you mind kind of like re-sharing yeah, the story? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that way just anyone who doesn't know, yeah. you know, can kind of understand it. And then also now we can kind of yeah. re-hear it, re-feel it, re-understand it before we Go down the road. So it starts on November 16th of 2020. There's Colby, Haley, me, and Dalton. We just drove out here. We were going to do the car ritual. When we arrived, we kind of just like drove through the bridge and then just to get like a feel look of it. And then we turned around and we went right back through it and we stopped in the middle. And that's when the ritual began. We turned the, we parked the car and turned the car completely off. And then we honked the horn three times, flashed the lights three times, turned the lights back off. And then we sat there for a minute or something. And then that's when everybody started cracking jokes, saying that it wasn't real, that the ghost couldn't do anything. And not even like a few seconds later after we started joking, we hear a loud like bang from behind the car. And so we all like turned around trying to figure out what it was. And then I turned around and I just saw her um, standing right at the beginning of the bridge. And what did she uh, look like? Could you see like facial I couldn't features? see facials, but I could tell it was, a, it was a, uh, an adult woman, okay. um, probably about five, two. Okay. Um, she was in this long, like, old style white dress it could have been a nightgown or some type of just long attire and it was white and i think she had like long black hair and she was just standing right at the beginning and that's when i initially screamed and everybody else turned and that's when they saw her that's when colby starts trying to like turn the car on and it's not turning on we're all freaking out the car finally comes back on the lights come on and she's gone we don't we didn't see anything else and we just immediately drove out of there the next day that's when stuff started happening dalton and Haley, the few days leading up had like family problems work problems like i think Haley like had arguments with her mother possibly dalton was having family issues but then me and colby we we had this like type of anger just start brewing me and him also, I think, suffered nightmares. I know I did. The few days leading up, it every nightmare was like a wreck of some sort. Whether it be with just me, family, friends, it always in, resulted in a wreck. On the the day of the 19th, so I texted them and I was like, hey, we've kind of had a rough few days. Let's meet up, chill out. So I get there and we kind of just hang out for a little bit. And that's when I think Haley was like, let's go on a drive. We, so we all go, we get in the car. I fell asleep probably like 10 minutes into the drive. Um, and when I woke up, we were, everybody was like, Kobe was checking his phone and he was like, we're about an hour away from home. Let's turn around and go. That's when sh stuff felt weird. 
I don't know, I, I, I still can't explain it, but Colby was silent. And um, as we turned around, he like started speeding. And then that turn, he just completely missed it. We just went straight and we met parallel with the fence. They came through the front of the car um, and it killed Colby directly on impact from what everybody else told us and when the car finally came hold to a stop that's when like I guess reality kicked in because Haley immediately started freaking out and I immediately like looked down to see if I'm okay and that's when I see my arm uh, and it's just completely mangled and Dalton's beside me unconscious he's bleeding from I think his ears and his nose it was just a bad wreck after that I didn't really like I guess connect dots until like months later oh, so months after the incident is when you yeah even kind of maybe thought yeah I I don't remember what it was but I just had this like I just immediately started like I guess scrolling through snapchat memories photos and then that's when I saw that and it just got me thinking about the bridge and then I found that one picture where it's a stupid stupid caption but it was like the we're die with the real ones that was taken the 16th right I think right before we went to the bridge the first time it's about to start pouring when people are coming here right because it's local mm -hmm. folklore when they do the ritual what what is known to have happened when you do it's that? mainly the main things you hear are seeing the woman in the dress um some people have reported they've seen somebody hanging in the middle um because that's that's a tale from there that somebody hung themselves in okay. the middle of the bridge and then with the car ritual the common things is the car not starting hearing either uh, like a thud on the back or on the top people in your group were in un unbeknownst instigating. instigating yeah and you think that maybe that's where possibly i that's what i still don't i can't get my head around is i get it we were instigating but why i guess why why did she choose us i guess we're yeah. we're probably the first people to ever like ghost yeah. hunt investigate right. at this bridge yeah. like, there's never been anyone that has tried to do it while other ghost hunters or investigators are waiting on the side to see that's what true. happens that's true yeah like, even when i like did my own independent research you don't find previous articles no yeah. tv shows ever been there's no youtube videos mm -hmm. yeah on it like i couldn't find i genuinely couldn't find anything at all here like maybe like one thing with like 10 views you know of, like yeah. it's because it's a historical landmark but yeah. that's yeah that's pretty much it there's reportedly like a woman um i think she got like stood up on her wedding something like that okay. and that she's reportedly the person that hung herself um and Why did you just do that sorry that was just that was my brain <laughs> clicking because you saw the woman in white. in white yeah so that would could be oh okay it could she be. was stood up on her <laughs> wedding yeah and her wedding dress oh yeah yeah, yeah could be is my instinct right now is like uh it's forcing us to the bridge yeah you know what i mean like we can't see because it's raining i think we're literally gonna be walking 10 minutes now this is the first time we've ever done an investigation in the rain. Imagine we walk there and the second we get under the bridge it stops. I don't know if there's any better evidence we could ever capture than that. <laughs> like that is physical evidence from the heavens. That flashlight helping you see in front of you, bud? <laughs> I'm doing it so if there's a car coming, they'll see the flashlight. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking. This is weird. What? There's no stars at all in the sky. It's raining. There's clouds. <laughs> it was an X. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, but normally you can still see stars. You know? Yeah. We're not over Florida, dude. We don't all get sun showers. Sorry I'm used to it raining within 20 feet and nowhere else. Oh, man. I love that when we were getting here, Corey's like, we're going to be super serious, no jokes tonight. And then I heard him say that, and I went, I ah, just, we had it. We got to make a joke. <laughs> we got to do it. We can't not do it. What are you nervous for? Like, what, what's what's the fear? What's the, Where are the nerves coming from? Honestly, I guess not getting anything. Oh. Oh, wow. Which is, which is weird to say, but... That's not the answer I was expecting. Yeah. At all. The, the weird thing is my instinct says that we're gonna get an answer tonight. Because no one has ever come here to have a conversation. The only reason people come here is to do this ritual and just kind of like summon, instigate. It's, it's a one-way connection every single time people come here, right? They, they, Right, because you said no one's ever investigated here before. Yeah, like, not that I know of. Like, I'm sure the local legend isn't like, flash your lights three times, honk your horn, turn your lights off, and then ask how she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's it's probably just do that and wait for her to bang on the on the car. Yeah. And so I think for us to come here first, no car, no ritual, just, hi, how are you? Later, you know what I mean, when we come back, can we ask you to show yourself mm -hmm. to confirm this? Then I feel like that to me makes the most sense. Yeah. Should we go first, the three of us, and then you stay back yeah. just for a minute? Just kind of see. You guys stay here, mm -hmm. and then kind of gives you time to, you know, yeah. relax and calm down and not just walk right in there. I also feel like for the sake of not being agitators, the second we, before we walk through the bridge, we need to introduce ourselves and why we're here. Before I enter the bridge, just want to ask for your permission, or at least let you know, politely, that I am walking on it. We only have pure intentions tonight to hear your story and understand why you're still here why you are filled with sadness and alleged anger for what has happened to our friend that we're with tonight. We're just hoping that you're willing to talk with us, have a conversation, and finally be able to understand why you're here or maybe there's a way to help you leave. So I'm gonna enter the bridge at any point you want us to leave, we will be setting up some devices, some different tools that you should be able to interact with and let us know. And if and when that happens, we will leave immediately. Thank you for allowing us here tonight. Anything going through your head right now? I'm nervous, I guess, for them. But, I mean, they've done this multiple times, so they'll be okay. I guess it's just nerves from, I know what I went through, and I just, I don't want that to happen to anybody else. Even just being back here just feels weird to just look at it. Hello, my name is Corey. I want to let you know that I mean no harm and no disrespect at all towards you. I'm only here tonight to talk with you, to learn about you, and to ask why what happens here happens. Honestly, there's a lot of stories about you, and we don't know which one is true. So I would love for tonight for you to speak with us, and if you want, you can share your story and tell us why. Thank you for letting us come on the bridge tonight and talk with you. But I do, I do hope they get something. I guess that's like my biggest thing. Even just a simple conversation with a REM pod. Yeah, in anything. Hello, 
My name is Jerry. I came in peace. And as Elton and Corey said, we're here to listen to your story. And I hope you can find this to be an opportunity to use us to share your story. So thank you for having us here, allowing us to connect with you. Hopefully we could um, really connect and carry you out. Thank you. Like I have that, like as if you accidentally got like cologne or mm. something sprayed in your mouth. Yeah. That's what I just got when I was walking over here. Super random, super weird. I'm assuming center is right here. Yeah, it's funny because this is exactly where I tasted the perfume. Really? Yeah. Well, hello. If there is a spirit or energy or entity or soul that is here on this bridge and you do want to talk with us tonight, could you please put your energy and touch one of the devices that we've laid out on the bridge? Did you hear that knock right after I said bridge? Mm -hmm. That was like a knock on the wood. Like I said, or it sounded like if someone had a branch and like swung it against a tree. That was a pure wood knock. We can get the parabolic mic out. We know what rain sounds like. We know what crickets sound like. There's no downside to it. You want to get it? We're going to, whoa, wait, stop, stop. Hold on, stop. Go back where you just were. Move backwards. I just, I, I'm not, I just captured someone in the rafters. Up there? Yes. It was like the timing was, it, it was literally I captured the, the entity and then Jerry was walking by. I thought, got it, stop, don't move. One of you raise your arms up. It's behind Jerry. Okay. That's where we hear the branch. What are uh, you doing? It is a 12 foot, twice the height of Jerry, standing over him. Uh, I like lit, have a 12 foot figure standing over Jerry. Reach your left arm up, Jerry. Can you grab Jerry's hand? Can you reach for his hand? He means you no harm. What? Say it. It's like it's it's actually walking down the bridge. What do you mean? I'm it's moving, it's walking very slowly down the bridge. It's not staying in one place. Like, I was trying to see if it maybe was mapping out the bridge. It's not, I'm watching it walk along the wall of the bridge right now. It's now in a perfect human form. Before it was kind of mangled. Jerry, walk to your left more towards your raised hand. I'm just doing a test to see if it's actually moving away from you. As you move closer, it moves further away. Okay, we don't mean you any harm. I'm sorry. As you move closer, it moves further away. Dude, this is bizarre. Dude, I'm gonna slowly walk towards you. Don't be afraid, okay? Corey, you should come look at this. In all of our years, We've never had an entity this large slowly walk away. You gotta understand where Corey's standing now is where originally it showed up. And as, watch, Jerry, move towards your raised hand right now. It's gonna move away. Or she is gonna move away. I don't know, she's, she's reaching for your hand. 
Look at that. Look, it's, it's reaching for your reaching for his hand. You could do it. Keep keep walking a little bit a little faster. Oh my god. You could do it. Gone. 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 Where did you go? The rim pod were off. I know. As he was moving closer to kind of say like uh -huh. I'm afraid. Where's the Knox? Yeah. And have you heard of anyone else seeing anything similar or seeing? Like I said, my, uh, Sean and his parents, they, they've, they told me that story where they, the car or the van wouldn't turn on and then they heard like taps from the top of the van. It's one of those things where you, you just hear about it, I guess. It's, not, I don't want to say it's a common thing, but you kind of just hear it from different people. Just a thought. We'll see before and after. What if the ritual helps bring her to life in our world because it's using the power of a vehicle? Oh. You're bringing a vehicle She's behind you. She's Holy sh dude. Dude, that was absurd. Whoa. No. I watched her. I'm assuming she. But I watched her start that small and rise up through. Is she right here? Yes, but imagine uh, 16 feet tall. The temperature on this side right here is very, very, very cold. Do you have a K2 on you? No. I'm gonna walk to you, okay? It's breezy. Here. Is she still there? Because the temperature changed on me. Walk to your left again. Look, look, it, does it not look like she's moving away? Like she's leaning back. Yes, like she's out like She's literally leaning backwards away right now. She's even, she's putting her arms up. What if she can't hear us? Can you hear us? Like, what do you mean? What if everything we're saying doesn't matter because she actually can't hear anything we're saying? All she sees is him walking towards her. I mean, look at this. Keep walking forward, Jerry. Keep going. Keep going. I'm gonna slowly walk towards you, okay? I wonder if she just Don't be scared. It's okay. We just assume they can. It's okay. You're right on her Whoa. leg. She's lifting her leg up. She's literally crawling away, dude. Okay, maybe we should stop. I think we should stop. Okay, this yeah. is this Walk. is clear indication that there's something there. I'm sorry. Don't mean Dude, to get she, in your it space. It looks like she's afraid of you. Absolutely looks like she's afraid of you. We're sorry. Ovilus. Maybe she can't hear us, but maybe she can communicate to us. Okay. So if there's anything that you want to say, please use this. It normally says two words right when it turns on. What were those two? Right and aura. Right aura? It just said manual. Like a, I know it's reaching, but like a manual. Yeah, manual car. car. Wow, man, that's I'm 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 literally watching her walk away. Oh, she's walking towards you. It just said pinky. Maybe reach out your pinky. I promise I won't hurt you. Gone. Gone. Like, the moment you said, I promise I won't hurt you, disappeared. <gasps> hmm. What? She back? She just reached for you. Put your pinky back out. I'll slowly do it. Uh -huh. 
alive. Uh, uh, I don't know if I like that. What's Why? it doing? What's going on? Wait, isn't it? Look, it looks like a like a rope is appearing. Look at that. Oh my god. What's looks like happening? a rope is appearing. Look at that. Oh my god, dude. Oh and the last god. thing it said is alive. Alive. Oh look, look at that. Okay, this is actually insane, Jerry. What's happening? It looks like a noose. It's, Behind me? It's the exact same figure, but with a noose above it. As she says, alive. However. Alive, however, I'm stuck. Like, are you stuck? Oh, man. Oh. Dude, it's gone again. So what I didn't like about that was right before Is your name Kim? What I just saw happen was if she just showed us her hanging from a noose to indicate what happened to her, in order for that to happen, all of his energy, Jerry's energy, was getting scrambled. Like I was watching every little point on Jerry just getting dispersed everywhere. It like literally like dissipated you basically. Like your entire, like the, the figure that I see that maps you out got scrambled. And then all of a sudden we see the appearance and the noose. Like it almost like took your energy to display that. And like that's why it was saying to reach out, you know, your hand, your pinky. Yeah. So it could take from it. And then it did that. And then also corresponds with if a car is brought here. That is a large source of energy. That is a very large source of energy. And that makes sense why their car when it turned back on. Because it drained their car. In order to manifest. I'm getting really short breath. Are you okay? You wanna step over here? Give me a second. Oh Whoa. my gosh, man. What? That REM pod goes off right now. I just captured something crawling on the floor. Can you touch that box again? To let us know that you're still here with us? My flashlight's almost gone. I mean, it could be draining it. First source of power. <gasps> it's... Dude, <gasps> that was the one. That's the first time ever. That's the first time that one has ever gone off. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm trying to breathe. Here, I'm gonna take Jerry out, okay? It's okay. okay. I'm Give actually gonna take, you know, no, no, you, you, are you sure? Give me a second. Are you sure? <clears throat> Elton. I just need to breathe. I know. That was the, who was it? Was that you? Did you just do that? I didn't touch you. Did you just? No. I just told my vest just go. Nah, he Swear didn't, he to didn't God. Move. His hands no. were there. Swear to God. I have no energy right now, dude. Whoa. In eight, in eight nights. Wait, 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 wait. Get up here. Look at Jerry. What? What? Jerry, are you okay? Elton, look at Jerry right now. Okay. What just happened? My camera just got snapped off. Jerry, look at Elton. What are you saying? I'm, I'm... Jerry, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, do, do me a favor. Are you okay? Wait, Jerry, are you okay? Elton. Yo, yo, Jerry, come on. Come on, dude. Elton. Should you take him the other way? What do you mean the other way? I... Corey, you should take him the other Can way. Can you walk this way? Wait, are you okay? Are you okay, dog? Hey, Elton, help me. Really Elton, help I me. I know, I no, 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 this is serious. I know that, but taking the other way. Uh, right now. Damn, sir. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. 
the fact that this one went off in eight nights of using it, even War Museum, it never went off. All right, come on, let's get you out. And you can, no, no, keep going a little bit more. Let's see. Did you just, did you kick that? There's Where no did, just, where did that no just way. come from? This, I set it up right there, but it was far from you though. You were right there. You I did not, not just kick center. that. I know you didn't just kick that. Are you okay? Dude, are you okay? You look like you're getting fucking drained. I feel way better here. Feeling. Are you okay? I don't know what's going on in there, dude. My head dog, started being buzzy. And then the, like, the more you talk to me, the less that I could hear you. So I thought I just had to do breathing technique or something to like get myself back up. Let's get him in the rain. I, like, see, like you need a cleanse. Like, a, you need water oh, right now. On the road, though. Car. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Just you're good. You're good. You're good. Dog. Just... Like, like, put your hand on the floor. Like, like, feel the gravel. Like, you know, feel the dirt. Like, become one with Earth again. You know what I'm saying? I can feel it. I got it. Dog. The box. We're the, not even there. The, Are we just going to ignore the fact that the cap wall just got kicked? Oh. As we're leaving, we're just gonna completely ignore that. I mean, oh. I guess here you stay I, with him. I don't like this, My dude. Body. You stay with him. We have an ask if, if she wants us to leave. Okay. Let's find out. Oh. Here. Let's get you out. And sorry. You can, no, no, keep going a little bit more. Let's see. Did you just? Did you kick that? Are you okay? Yeah, here. here. My left hand just went numb. <sighs> dude. <sighs> I'm so sorry, no. dog. It's because she was using, you know, your energy to communicate, bro. I get it. I promise, dog. Before no. we leave, we're going to cleanse you. We're going to make sure you're good. You're fine right now. You're just feeling super drained. Uh -huh. I've been I've been through it, okay? You want us to leave? Tell me this. Are you draining his energy to harm him? If your aim is to harm him, can you activate that device over there, the box that you already set off? The reason he's being drained and feeling like this is because you're using that energy to communicate with us. Can you let us know this way? If what you need is energy or power, we can bring more. But we just need to know if that's what will help you. I'm trying to get my left hand back together. Dude, I can feel it again. It's okay. Hey, I just want you to know. Again, we're here no harm. If you need my energy to speak with us, please do. It's okay. It will be okay. Okay? Whoa. Whoa. Are you okay? What? She feels like she left. Feels like she left? Yeah, my hands are fine now. Dog, are you okay? Do you feel recharged? Still a little light lightheaded. That was weird. Did you almost pass out? It was like coming in sporadic moments and then start coming in step by step. I'm not trying to say this to like freak you out, but like dog, that didn't look like you in there. Like I, that did not look like you. What happened? I could see like you being drained. 
Like you looked like you were being drained. It was so weird, dude. I had to really just like breathe. And Whoa. it was like... A light just flashed behind you in the trees. Just a straight line. It's 100% on camera. Are you okay? My legs. Are you okay? It's my left leg. It's going off again. It went from my left arm. Now I'm okay now on my left arm to now my left leg. The SLS just turned itself off as I got confirmation. Okay, do you want the good news? What? I asked a question and that was double if not triple confirmation simultaneously. The question was basically, if you're draining Jerry and doing what you're doing to harm him, Set up the box over here that we already know she knows how to use. The follow-up question was, if you're draining him because that's what you need to do to communicate, and that just happens to be the result, activate the other box, the big wooden box. Simultaneously, the SLS turns off and the box went off at the exact same moment. So that's good, bro. She's not meaning harm, you know what I'm saying? No, it's and it, it, I get it, and I, I was telling her too, it's okay, you know? Like, use me, it's fine, because I want sure? her to communicate with us. Jerry just supplied her with all of his energy at once. I think so. And it f***ing drained him. Yeah. Immediately. I mean, dude, that was, it was instantaneous. It was like, confirm if that's what you need to do to communicate, SLS completely, if the SLS is fine, it completely shut it off, and then the wood box at the exact same moment. Wow. What? Yeah. Wow. Can I say something weird that keeps happening over here? Yeah. There's like a big straight line flash of light that's happened twice high up in the trees behind Jerry. Huh. No clue. No, it's like a five foot like straight line of light. And at first it was directly behind him and then about a minute or two passed and it happened more to the left behind him. And we've heard no thunder. No. So I'm assuming it's not close no, to light. No, I dude, know, I know. It, no, it, it would light up everywhere if it was lightning. What? I, I just saw it. What? Are you okay? Whoa. What happened? I just saw like almost like a white mist, a white cloud appear right here. Like almost like a like a wall. Like, like a veil. Like think of like what you think of like a veil. If there was a veil of energy, I just saw a pier like right here. What? Are you okay? Are you okay right now? My lips are really numb. Your lips are numb? It went from... should, should I go let her know what's happened? Uh, can you come over here first? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm honestly really worried about Jerry right now. Because after all that happened, he just said again, you can continue to use my energy. I don't know if you, you know. Not, not, my mouth is really numb. It went from my left hand to my left leg. Now my entire mouth, it's like almost like getting, you know, you go to the dentist and you get like anesthesia or something. So there's two options. We walk him across the bridge to bring over to where the salt is or I just go get the salt and bring it over here. But no matter what, he still has to walk back through the bridge. Do you want to stop investigating and chill out for a little bit? We all left and took away the source of energy. Do or you she's want... calling you back in. I, you... I told her it's okay to use my energy. Okay, but you can't like you go, can't go to a point where you can't talk and walk if i go in all right dude it's going crazy it's i prom what instinct says it's gonna stop if jerry walks on the bridge okay. can you walk on the bridge i'm okay walking right now it's mainly the upper body like upper head to the chest dude dude was well, it gonna stop now that i'm back in the bridge of course Do you want Jerry? Jerry? Huh? Are you okay? 
I think so. Should we walk him to the other side? Yeah. Let's go take a break, dog. Ever. I could talk again. You're good now? But my chest is now. Okay, let's let's go I'm get so you confused. Let's go get you some blessed salt. Seriously. Like you should you should probably like get some blessed salt immediately. Not my right hand. What the f is going on? Elton. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Get him over there. Off yeah. the bridge. Let's go dog. Come on. Crack open the salt from Wade. Yep. Crack open the salt. Put some on like your wrists, your chest. Do all that. You wanna walk with them? Yeah. You do not have the permission to follow me. Okay, you do not have the permission to attach to me. You do not have the permission to follow me. You don't have the permission to follow me. You don't have the permission to attach me. You do not have permission to attach to me or him or anyone here. We are only here tonight to talk to you here. You do not have permission to follow us or attach to us. My hands are back. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, Jerry. This My feels, chests are going around. It feels like I'm dreaming right now, dog. That like was this, so weird. Even, dude, this doesn't feel real. Like, I'm kind of tripping. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, everything kind of seems super fake right now. I agree. Like, it feels like a fucking dream. I've never had this kind of feeling going from my hands to my leg to my mouth to my chest to my arm again. <sighs> After we said that, every feeling is going away. I could speak to you normally now. Do I look okay to you? Do I look okay? Yeah. Yeah, you look normal now. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Are you? I'm fine now. That was really fucking weird though. Are you okay? I'm scared. You're actually scared, scared? I'm fucking scared. Okay, let's go get you salt. Come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. I'm gonna ask some questions. And I'm hoping I'll be able to hear you answer me to the device in my hand. If you're able to communicate verbally through to me, can you please do so? Are you angry with us that your source of energy has now left? Do you want Jerry? Do you want him back on the bridge? Everything Thank okay? You. Um, it's actually insane. Are you seeing it's, me? it's actually insane right now. The thing is, though, I don't, I don't feel. What do I do? Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you guys about it after this. Let me, so if I were you, first. just go like this a little bit. Okay. Just, just kind of smush your hands together, right? Okay. And then I would close it in a fist. Okay. Get it, get it in one hand. And then right here, forehead, chest, left shoulder, right shoulder. Just go like that. 
and then if you want, you know, put, you know, yeah, rub it a little bit. And then I, honestly, I would like put it in like your back pocket or something. Are you angry with us that your source of energy has now left? Do you want Jerry? Do you want him back on the bridge? Do you want someone else to offer their energy to you? I'll offer my hand now. Gonna walk away for a minute. I don't, there's no way this recorder's gonna catch anything. I'm gonna leave it here just in case. I saw you standing right here earlier. So I'm gonna leave this right here. Be back in just a minute. Promise we will. If there's anything you wanna say, I'll be able to hear you when I return. Leaving the recorder on the bridge. It's raining and that's the REM pod. I'll be back in a minute. Everything that I felt, everything. I told her she could use my body, my energy, as a source of energy to speak with us. And she did. My left hand, she was right next to me on my left. She told me to go pinky. From then on, I started catching short breath. I started feeling numb on my left hand. And then went down to my left leg. And that's when they caught me going really, really faint. And I just like, I fell back to the rail and I just had to chill out. I had to catch my breath, but I couldn't. They took me out to the other side, touched the ground so we could be, so I could connect with the earth again. Yeah. Then my chest and my mouth started going numb. I couldn't talk to them straight. It almost felt like, it was like when you had an anesthesia in yeah. like your, your mouth. Everything from here just drooled. And then my right arm started going numb. I'm gonna check on Elton real quick. Yeah, okay? yeah, I'll, yeah, be, I'll right be here, I'll be here. Dude, what the fuck? <sighs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie, like this. I don't know, man, something, something feels off. Like seriously, like something, like it feels like I'm dreaming right now. Like I'm, I'm waiting to wake up. Like this is, this is very unusual. I, I don't, I, I'm not getting a hatred vibe. No. I, uh, I'm getting like, how often do people come here for more than the three seconds it takes to drive through the bridge? You know what I mean? Like people just come here to drive through. And of course, when they park and bring a car and sit there, it's the best opportunity to get energy. And here we are standing there with battery banks and offer right like you know what it feels like to me what when patty opens the veil and we're on the other side it feels like it's already open i agree because i saw so, the white so wall cool. the white mist like like a veil how's it going what happened from the moment we've been on there to the moment we've left it's been non-stop direct like non-stop direct answers i mean like i was getting frustrated that i thought the sls device was broken for the last week because yeah. It's nothing, like not yeah. at all, and it was I, like that. It might be the best like evidence we've ever captured with this device because we could see like a 12 foot, 16 foot tall figure standing there. And at first, I thought maybe it was mapping like the wood structure, yeah. but it was moving away from Jerry. As Jerry would step forward, it would move away in like a human position, like the same level you would be like if a bear was crawling towards you. It was moving like this. And then getting direct answers on the REM pod and him feeling like, yeah. yeah so, I, I mean, I like that. I'm literally saying protect that because like that screen recording is, is the best we've ever captured. I'm very curious to see if Jerry walks through if it goes off because it has not that I've seen in the last few minutes. Yeah, it looks like it's soft. The other thing too is rain is a conduit of energy. I know. 
and it's a covered bridge because it's going over a creek. Did you say that there's stories about someone who like hung themselves here? Yes. Okay. Um, it said that she hung herself right in the middle of the bridge. We're literally right in the middle. She hung herself right in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Evan, I would not cross through without saying hello first. Yeah. Hello, my name's Evan, and I'm here uh, to help document your story. Cheers. You want to introduce yourself to? Yeah. How many times do I know it? Just two. Just two. Okay. Hi, my name is Whitney. It is nice to meet you again. If you are who I saw before. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I feel good. The Which one was that? That was the far away one. She just introduced herself and it immediately went off. That's a device that we've never had to go off before. This is the first time it's ever gone off. I recorded for a minute 41 seconds and I was gone for seven or eight minutes. Yeah, but that's actually really wild. What? The only two recordings on there on here were two like the only two recordings on here were two scream screeches. The exact moment I had to walk that way, and then again the exact moment we all walked back through the bridge are the only two times, and I, I, cause I can hear me walking, I can hear my footsteps, yeah. and then I can hear us walk up, and it go, and it, the only two times on the entire recorder. Even the recorder on the bridge, it's raining and that's the REM pod. I'll be back in a minute. What kind of screeches are they? Like, is it like a scream or like tiger yeah, screeches? I, I'll play with you. Oh. Did you hear that? No. She asked if it sounds like a scream or tires because another story is someone wrecked their car going over the bridge. Here, I'll let you be the judge. Okay. It's gonna happen almost immediately in. And then there's one more, a minute 30. It re recorded for a minute 41 seconds. But in the beginning there's one and the other one later is exactly the same. that you can hear me walk so you can you can do the mat like time it out you can hear me walk boom 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 and it had to have been this the moment i hit right about here and if you wait again you'll hear us it'll go for quiet and you'll hear us get to about here you'll hear evan knock and then the second i walk through it does it again i don't know if that's like the sound of us piercing this energy veil i mean the first thing the obvious said was aura which is like a shield of energy. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if that's us, us piercing it, and that's what caused that, or if that's like a, hey, come back. But the fact that we have the brand new REM pod going off for the very first time. That's crazy. Oh my God. Did you turn that on? Did you just yeah. hear that? Did you turn that? No, I did not touch it. Did you kick it? No. Uh, this cat no, ball, this cat ball was just rolling by itself. And the recorder just turned itself on in the heavy duty Velcro pouch. Dude, I didn't even move. I was standing right here. I saw the cat ball flashing in your umbrella and I looked down and it was rolling. Where would you say that you put it? Evan, would that be on camera? 
Possible. I don't know if I was that low, but possible. Do you want to walk up there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time, like, standing on the bridge? I stood, like, at the beginning when we came here a few months ago, but I did not walk all the way in. You feel okay right now, though? Yeah, I feel a little nervous, but I'm calmer than what I thought I was gonna be. Good. Yeah. That's good. I guess because you guys have told me that she doesn't mean harm, I get, at least to you guys, I get, that definitely helps. Because now I just, I want to communicate and I guess say sorry for what happened a few years ago. Yeah. It's pretty wild everything has stopped. All of it. Not one device has gone off since we came back on. If there's anything that you want to say or ask. Yeah, I have it, have it set where it doesn't even hear the rain. So, if you're hearing anything besides our voices, that's your answer. Three, two... Can you tell us your name? Did you just want to talk? Everything has stopped on this bridge since Whitney has walked on it. Do you feel sorry for what happened? Is that why you've gone quiet. Do you remember me? From a few years ago? Or any of my friends? Are you lonely? Do you like interacting with us? Ending because of rain? Wow. I wish those sections weren't open. Because I just felt this crazy rush of cool air across the back of my neck, but because it's open, I can't. Can you tell us your name? Did you just want to talk? Everything has stopped on this bridge since Whitney has walked on it. I feel sorry for what happened. Is that why you've gone quiet? Do you remember me from a few years ago? Or any of my friends? Are you lonely? Interacting with them. Ending because of rain. And just like, why I find like now that it's raining, more condensation, more wind, nothing's going on. Nothing is going on. You know what would be the perfect thing to use right now, right? What? You're standing on wood, in a bridge, rain is flowing. It's the perfect thing to use right now. It's up to you. Cross these rods for yes. Uncross the rods and make them go outwards for no. Are you still near us right now? Be a yes. Can you make these rods point to the direction of where you are? You do not have permission. Holy shit, Delton, you scared oh the fuck out of me. You do not have permission to attach to me. You do not have permission to attach to me. You do not have permission to follow us. Anybody else want to do them? I don't want to. Sorry. Because what they told me at the Warren Museum. 
they were saying that dowsing rods are so dangerous because you're opening yourself up to it's not just using a tool to communicate but it's using you to communicate and i just said can you make these rods point to the direction of where you are and it spun around and pointed directly at me meaning it was connected to me using the rods and i don't feel comfortable doing that i can't i don't believe so i can't think of a single time i've ever used Class. This is gonna sound super weird, but it was like a like a like a giant cocoon to the top left of the exit. It was like a my eyes and my peripheral saw like a like a like a cocoon. Like a giant cocoon. I don't know. Probably just my eyes being weird, but it freaks me out. It scared me. I'll stand guard at that end, but I want to see if we just use the laser grid, crush any all the lights. I'll stand guard that way, you guys have a clean line of sight of any cars come. I'll set this up. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Like, kind of what I'm getting is, like, the reason everything stopped is because, like, she's sorry. She's, like, hiding. She's, like, fuck. Like, I'm sorry. She did. What she did. Yeah. Because... That went off probably a hundred times. Swear to God. That that never goes off and goes off like a twenty bunch of times. times too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna set it down so I, there's no shot. Welcome back. Did you just feel the floor shake? Did you feel that? A little bit. I felt the bridge shake. Whoa. Whoa! It shook again. Why now? Why now? You know what that is? Huh. She just left the perimeter of the laser grid. Huh. Right? Yep. From the middle to here. Yeah. Outside the laser grid. Is it possible for you to show us what you looked like when you were alive? Are you still moving it? No. I have it pinned what down. What was that? Did you just hear that? I heard a knock. No. Did you hear that? No, I heard like a, like a growl. A growl. You heard it too? Yeah. I don't know if it was like a growl. It was like, oh. Yeah. The reason I asked if you were moving at Elton is because the lights above Evan are twinkling. Like some of them are disappearing and coming back. Oh yeah, I see it on this side of the rafters too now that you pointed it out. I wasn't looking that high. That's me, yeah, see that's me moving it, look. Yep. That's what it looks like when I move it. I mean, Evan currently has the largest battery source. Oh. The top right just disappeared and then came back. There it goes again. I saw that. It's another source there of There it goes power. again. Yep. Who's moving right now? No one. That I top right. I'm not moving. I am on the outside of the laser grid. Dude, top the right is gone. Top right keeps coming and disappearing. Can you do it again? That one now just did it. In 10 seconds, I'm going to exit the bridge to see if anything changes. Whoa. Did you just see that laser? Mm -mm. What? Dude, a, a green laser by itself. What the fuck was that? Okay, so a green laser, I just watched it go this way and then disappear. And then I just saw a ball of light right here. It was just moving and then it just disappeared. Are you feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Cool. Which one? Back. The all one the way. that's never gone off. Wait, wait. The, the new one. The new one. The Thanks. new one that we just set up. What 
the? What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? What? 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 How was that? How did that happen? What? How? How did that just happen? What, what? happened? The jolt of light that just ripped through the bridge. My, I was facing the direction as the body cam. Like I'm wearing the body camera. Wait. Look at that green light behind Jerry. What the? F Jerry, turn around. Jerry, look on the wall. What is that? Elton? How is that moving? Elton. Whoa. Uh. You saw that. Where did it go? Evan, what could possibly do that? I don't know, but there's also another light blinking at the very end, going in and out. The laser is getting very dim. Can Evan, Evan, can you do me a favor for my sanity? Can you just like do like a, a 180 back and forth and just see if somehow... Wait, could it be... Yeah, no, you have no no possible way. What? That's all. I just wanted to see if there was some lunatic way for this little flashlight to have bounced off. But look, it's still moving by itself. Oh my God. We're oh my moving. God. No one's moving right now. Elton. Guys. I no see it. No one is moving right now. I see it. Elton. No one is moving. That wasn't me. No. That wasn't you me. You stood still. I'm gonna stand still. I'm standing completely still. Look at it, dude. I'm standing completely still. Laser's dimming. Yeah, I think give about a minute more before that what? thing is completely wiped. Top right just disappeared. Look at the top right blink. What? Should we save some of the power on this? For the car? Yeah. yeah. We still gotta do the car, right? Yeah, exactly. So I yeah. don't wanna I wanna know that we have the ability to use every tool twice. I know I was facing right at it, and that was, it was exactly what you described earlier, Corey. It was exactly, it was like five to six feet long, straight bar of light like that. Where did you see it? I saw it right in here. Probably right here. Probably from that post. Whoa. Whoa. Like that right. What? 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 I just... I just saw like a firework on the floor. Swear to God. I just saw like a firework go off on the floor. <laughs> I know I sound crazy right now, dog. I'm just telling you what my eyes just showed me. Swear to God. What? It was like a, it was like a, you know, like the big fireworks up in the sky and they, you know, they go like that. It was like the size of a golf ball. And it was on the floor and it was yellow. And I watched it go from a ball and it just went. Poof. Swear to God. Swear to God. Okay, can I say something trying, trying to debunk what just happened like 10 minutes ago? Mm hmm Understandable. A laser, the green laser could have been bouncing off of my camera. Sure. Correct, and shooting it towards the wall. Sure. There was at certain moments, and we both saw, that I would move, and we're like, okay, the green laser is reflecting off of me, and it's moving with me on the wall. I would stand completely still, like this, like a pencil, and we are, both of us, all three of us, are watching the green laser continue to go crazy everywhere, and I'm not they moving. not moving. This caught it. They were not moving at all. It's not the bugs either, because the bug no. would block out a light, not move a light. No, and the green laser was shooting this way. It was behind Jerry. May I take yours then, so I do not run into any animals. I have the keys. I will bring the car. I'll bring it over there. I'm not going to drive it in. Uh, I'm going to be very jealous if all three go off at the same time and I'm not here. I'll be back in uh, 10 minutes. No. Eh, 15. So I'm just going to tell y'all what I'm feeling right now and i've been feeling it almost since we walked in here when we've done investigations with patty and she opens the veil you know she she lifts the veil i get this feeling as if like i'm in a dream and i have been feeling that here all night
and we didn't do anything to lift the veil. And it just makes me think that, you know, this bridge is constantly open. Like, I don't know if there's like a portal here or if someone came here and lifted the veil and just left it open. But I finally, as like an hour or two went by, I was like, duh, that's what it feels like. It feels like the veil is open. I am so very genuinely curious to know what is going to happen when we bring the car. There's either two things that happen, three, I guess, one, nothing happens, nothing changes, or nothing happens. Two, we bring the car in, and all the same things happen, but now with more energy supplied by the car. Rampods haven't gone off in a while. SLS is turned off, Panasonic, everything. Third thing that happens is we become agitators. I become an agitator. In anger, the woman, the spirit, the entity that's here, and things get bad. And I've now given all of our protection items to Whitney. You guys want to do a quick two, three questions, each yeah. of us yeah. session? Why are you stuck here? I know we've been here for a while. And you've been kind of quiet lately. Are you out of energy? Are you tired? I believe you answered my question last time. But would you like it if more people came to visit and just ch talk to you? Do you remember why you're here? Or how you got here? What happened to you? I know we've been here for a while. And you've been kind of quiet lately. Are you out of energy? Are you tired? What? Your question, your question, and your question. There's something after all of them. But swear to God, after your question, I hear energy swear to god like if you want to listen did you hear it after i say are you tired energy uh, what if an error has occurred turn the camera off then turn it on what, what? i've never seen that one before Jesus. What? You don't think it corrupted the files? I have no idea. Dude, if it corrupted the whole video. But that's a trip because that never just corrupts, that never uh, just go up. Like the camera's currently off. It what? It still shows the message. The camera's off? Correct. It's like stuck in power mode even though the switch is on off. What? I'm afraid to just take the battery out. Um, yeah, I have no idea what to do. What? It won't turn off? I'm gonna have to pull the battery. It's literally in the off position right now. But I am very happy to be doing this. Because for the past few years, it's kind of felt like we're not really contributing. We're not doing anything monumental. We're not doing anything beneficial, right? It's just, we show up to these locations and there's spirits who were people, we're trapped there. And we just talk to them for a few minutes and leave. It feels like a zoo. It feels like I've been visiting different zoos every single time we go out and investigate. For nearly the last five years, I've been to over 150 zoos. And for the first time ever, it feels like we might be helping on two different ends. 
one with the spirits that might be here. With no one to talk to, no one to tell its story. Nothing at all. And then two, on the real world end of things, we're seeing if maybe we can find answers for something horrific that happened. What? It's off, but it still shows it's powered. Pulling the battery? Uh, is that what you're gonna have to do? I mean, it's, it's stuck. It's off. I, I mean, I guess if you have to. I have no idea. I'm just terrified that it's gonna corrupt the entire video. Some clips require data recovery. Are you kidding me? Dude. Evan. He has the biggest source of energy right now. That hasn't gone off in what, 20 plus minutes? Holy cow. 30 minutes? Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna switch. So that's the stuff we shot on the other card. Okay. So us walking up to the bridge. Yep. Oops. Switch cards. Question mark. Corrupted. No. Please, dear God. Recover, recover. Recovering. Oh my god. So she drained the camera and confirmed it. Yeah. I feel like this has got to be the direction that we go with the overnight channel from now on. It just, it has to be. Because I can only imagine how many more people have these stories that just are unknown or maybe have never shared before. And Whitney doing this with us tonight maybe brings up the courage for more people, maybe some of you are watching right now, to share your story and seek answers. What's the camera saying? It's recovering, it's just moving. I mean, it's probably gonna take a half an hour. No. It's like, it's like maybe estimated like 5% complete. Is that him? Huh? What did you see? What did you see? I see a like light. I don't see it. Wait, you don't see that? The yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yep, yep. There is a light down there. There is a light? Are you trying to tell us something? Uh, what if you aim that way or Jerry, give me your... I don't have Dude. a light. Dude? Here. What is happening? What is she... What is she trying to tell us? Do you see it? I see it. I 100% see it. Now what in the room? Um, where's the, where's the flashlight at? At the end of the bridge. That's for saying, saying I, mean, I, have a, I have another light. We will clearly see a car. If it is a car. No, that's not a car, dog. Do you want me to shine a light on it? Yeah. Whoa, did you just oh, see turn that? It turn quick. it off? You saw it? Yeah, Blink? It was... Oh my god. Evan, are you okay? Yeah. You're okay, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to get off the bridge? No, I'm good. You sure? I still see you. Like that's... I see it too, but I'm Do you want me so to turn confused. the light off? Yeah. Turn it off real quick, I'm confused. Whoa. that what the f is that what is that oh cool the dogs are barking which means they hear it too This. Did I go too far? Did I run past it? I, I don't remember seeing a house. I don't remember any of this. I know it was raining, but... I make a 
long term. I don't have my phone on me either. I don't have my phone on me. The flashlight's about to die. And I think I'm lost, which doesn't make sense because there was only one road in. Whoa. Is that you? Can we see you? <gasps> what was that to the right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, it's moving. It's coming. Oh, my God. Evan? It's, Tell me to turn the light it's on. coming in a figure. Evan? Yes. You have your body cam on it, right? Uh-huh. He okay. does. What is that? Are you that? okay? Yeah. What is I'm good. that? Hi. Hello. Hi. I've never seen can our body cams see this? I'm so confused. Evan, do you think our body cams can see this? I, I mean, it's a small screen, it's hard to tell. This, this might be some of the best evidence we've ever gotten. It's moving. Evan, we're looking at it. I Are see it. Seeing this. That was the weirdest thing. I was about to turn around and go down that other road. I was like, I guess it's not this way. The moment before I could see the edge of its headlight reflecting it made me like i just second guess my entire thought process and i don't know why are you gonna start started no problem before and after test story is that it's concerning is the night they came here yes they heard the bang in the rear of the car and they saw her but that's not the night that something happened it was four days later luckily I'm not going to be with all of them in four days off somewhere else. It also happened the one time they all got back together. But I feel like for safety reasons, everyone who is on this bridge tonight should never be together again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do either. I'm so confused. Is that you that we're seeing right now? Is it coming closer? Dude, it's walking towards us. I swear it's walking towards us. Wait, it's like coming in form. Are you trying to warn us of something coming towards us? Or is that you walking towards us just no, to no, say no, hello? No, we, we, we should separate them. Sorry. Whoa! Look! Look! Whoa! Whoa! That, that has to be... No, dude, that's coming way too light. Whoa! Who's that? Evan? That has to be the car. Or a car. Lights coming on. Is that now, yeah? That has to be a car. Evan? Yes? She's That's way too so far. That was not what it was. This, this... Dude, this feels like a dream. It just looked like there was someone to the right of the car standing and then just, did you see that? Yeah. And there was someone to the right of the car and then it walked away. You just saw that? I'm dumbfounded right now, fam. I don't know what to say. What did I just saw? Dude, please tell me one of our body cameras got that. It has to. Uh, before anything, ask Elton if he saw anything while driving. Okay. Or walking back. I'm, I'm literally shaking right now. That wasn't the car. No. No, dude. No way. Because remember, remember, 
there's a corner that you turn. Yeah. You know what I mean? That stayed there way too long for a corner to turn and have the light on like that. Should we walk towards him? Elton. Okay, come here. Did you see anything? When? On the drive here. Driving here. No, I just heard some interesting noises, but I did not see anything at all. All of us, including Evan, are freaking out right now. Evan, how do we explain what we just saw? We saw a white figure. For three, four minutes? For, we're staring at it. Man. Walking we around, it getting closer you. to us. We thought it was you and your car light, but it wasn't. No. There was no way. More importantly, what else? What oh. Did... It corrupted the camera. Get the f*** out. It's, it's recovering. But we did an EVP session, and well, Jerry, what was your question? Oh, yeah, that explains why you're not holding the camera right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I asked... We've been here for a while, and nothing has gone off for a little bit. Are you tired? Or are you out of energy? On the EVP, it says you could just hear it go. Oh, my the moment we said that, that just went. Camera said what was, uh, the message was: uh, an error has occurred. Please turn off the camera. So I turn off the camera. Power is off. Screen still on, saying. An error has occurred. Please turn off the camera. Did you capture it on that camera? The white? No. no. Okay, it, camera was dead before then. Cam wait. Yep. Question. Energy. Camera dies and then you see it? Yes. 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 Now, I, 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 I swear on absolutely everything. I walked. At one point, I actually jogged. I kept going because my flashlight was dying. I jogged all the way there. I got to the car. Got back in the car. I drove here. Parked there. No one went past me. No one left their house. Nothing at all. The only thing I could hear is whatever that is. No one came up or down this road. I would have seen them. It is impossible for any person or car or anything like that to have gotten past me. There was, o was only one road in or out. At one point, I actually got confused because I walked so far. I was like, did I miss a turn? But no, one road the whole way there. Do you have it? Have what? Like the, the white figure? Hopefully. I, I, on this, I hope so. Hopefully. Damn, they're not. That's the crazy part is like they don't go that far range wise. That's the issue. And so, uh, with Whitney and I, while I was looking at the camera, you looked up and she was like, wait, the car? And I kind of glanced up and I'm like, wait, yeah, I see a, a figure or like a white source of light. So then I turn off my light to be like, okay, like what's going on? And it just stood there and then it's like, then everybody saw it and was like, holy shit. Okay, now I want to say something that's really pissing me off. This is like really pissing me off right now. My body cam was like this. What pointed down? Yeah. Oh, that entire time we're freaking out at the light. Uh, it's wide. It's wide, but it's wide out, not up. But also, I had that one set up right there. Yeah. But the thing is, that one is like pointing towards this way. We saw it like we saw it down up here. It was straight. straight. Yeah. How far? Let me see, where's the... I don't even have a big light. I couldn't tell. Look, you, you saw when I drove up, right? Yes. So you know it was not my car? It was not. Okay. No, yeah. no we confirmed okay. that. It a million percent no. was not your no. car. And I drove straight the whole way. I didn't pull over. I didn't do any no. No. bullshit. We yeah. saw your car approaching. Yeah. Please be on the body cams. I'm, I'm going to go with I doubt it. Look, no matter what, this body cam... Look, point them all that way right now, okay? Okay. No shot. No shot at all. It can maybe see to here, and that's a look. I'll cover my IR. Can you barely see me? Barely. Yeah. Here, do a test. That's what I'm saying. There's no shot. They're they're not meant to see hundreds of feet away. That's why we brought the real the real camera out tonight. When we're in small locations, these are great because the light bounces off the walls, but that's why we had to use this camera tonight. Which means that's like an intelligence level, that's an unreal level of intelligence to know what camera to turn off. Cause we've had the body cameras get shut off before by like a spirit. We've had that happen, like just instantly turn off on our chest. I know, but Elton? We were all shaking. 
That was the best evidence. We almost captured it. Uh, it's plausible. Okay, it's nice. If it's not on that camera, you did not get it. I'm, I'm sorry, I know these body cameras too well. <laughs> you saw it. Yeah. Tell them, please, tell, <laughs> tell them that you saw it so they believe us if it's not on camera. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm, I'm just saying I know what these cameras are capable of. That was so And of course insane. it corrupts the camera. This camera would have A minute. One minute before that happened. Okay, and let's go with that theory. It was able to do that with that little bit of power. I have a vehicle. I'll give you the SLS inside the bridge. We already had a before and after with that. Yeah. I'll set up the laser grid too. We had a before and after with that. I'll leave you out here with the parabolic mic and Evan and Whitney with the cameras. Okay. And that should be everything document it but if you have the parabolic mic and you see it even if they can't get it on camera video we can get the audio and for all we know like we might actually be able to capture her voice after this i just can't like i don't think i can i can go to another like insane asylum and feel like this is the most i could be doing with my day I you, you right I, I completely agree this is in Insane. This is insane. I've never seen that. Even Evan saw it. We all saw it for minutes, dog. There was something just shining white walking around in the road. And it was walking closer and closer towards us. And it was just getting brighter and bigger. You know how I imagine it to be? Kind of like a ding dong ditch. Yes. You know? Yeah. But this has probably happened so many times to her. I'd be upset too. Yeah. Right? Uh, honestly. Yeah. I can't imagine. Yeah. She doesn't have no cops to so call. I'm incredibly sorry. The road isn't flat. I the know. road does this and this. And there's tons of trees. So, like, no shot. It's my headlights. Oh, I, 100%. As soon as she started pulling up, we were like, oh, okay. That's the car. That's what the car looks like. It wasn't a car. It's one thing for Corey to see what he sees, right? Yeah. But it's another thing it's for another all, thing of, for us all to, four of us. And to just keep staring and keep seeing the same motion. Yeah. Confirmed. I'm bewildered by her, her ability to do this. I know. Me too. I've never in my life had a friend pass away. My dog. Never had a friend. Never been in a car accident. Never severe injury. So I. I I cannot even begin to fathom and understand what this has to be for her and for her to be standing right here right now. I'm glad she's finally getting her story told. Or what, whoever it is. Yeah. Um, I'm glad they're finally going to be able to get heard. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I don't want people coming here and fucking around like I did. Show some respect. Respect. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think we might have just brought her peace. I, I hope so. Yeah. I, I really hope yeah. so. Yeah. Hope the world learns what this place is about. You know, her story now. And maybe, hey, honor her. You know? People will drive by this place knowing who she is now. I'll pull the car up to there. And come. I'll set up the SLS, hand it to you. That way you can face that way. Cover that way in the car. They'll be on the other side of the bridge. They can face the rear of the car Got it. and the other road. I'll park between the REM pods. I'll give you the SLS. You'll have the parabolic mic. We'll use the same devices we've had. I'll even set up the laser grid as well, which I have right here. So I'll hand you that as well. During the entire ritual, I'll roll the Panasonic. So you get here, you park, and I think that's when you turn the car off. Okay. And then you honk three times, flash your lights, and then 
you wait. Okay. And make sure, I guess, when you park, that's when you turn your lights off. Turn okay. them off, honk, and then that's when you turn. And flash them three times. Just want to keep you updated. We're now going to bring the car over, okay? We want people to know who you are, and we want people to know your story. We want people to stop doing what they're doing, ding dong ditch you every time. Again, I'll be mad too. Ooh. So do you like ghost hunting? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Pretty nuts night. You deserve your space. You deserve the peace. And I hope once people hear about you, about your story, that they bring more love to you. This type of evidence isn't, you know, normal. Have we ever had some... What? Is that one of you guys? What? What'd you hear? Dude, it's, it sounded like someone crying. I'm not even kidding, dude. Oh, oh, she's right in front of us. She is on the wall. Wow. She does what she was doing. Hello. Standing on the rail. I am recording the Panasonic. Yep. Now. This is at 4%, by the way. Just died I'm down. I'm hand it to you at 50%. That's crazy, because it just went at 4%. All right, car is going off. Waiting for all lights to turn off. It did died. You it? Did you just move the laser grid? I did, but it died. The SLS just died? SLS just died. Okay. Wow. That's insane. Here we go. Lady in white, are you able to tell us your name? Can you tell us why you're here? You feel anything right now? Breezy, but I can't. Okay. Cause the, yeah, I can't just, just it. I know, but we're, I'm feeling it in the car. Which means it's going through there, through the window, through the car. I'm gonna do one thing then. That your energy, your presence, I feel in the car right now. I can't hear anything. I feel a cold breeze in here. We would truly love to learn your name. That's the last thing we would like to ask before we leave you peace. Damn, I thought maybe. No. I thought maybe we got a name. Oh. Yeah. Well, last thing to do is see if the car turns back on. No f***ing way. It's not turning on. Look at the key is. It's in the keyholes. It's not turning on. It's in the fucking key holster. You're pressing it. It's in the key holster what? where it's been the entire trip. It is not turning on. This is you know that we've been in this no, car. No, one hundred percent. This is where the, the key, key is right been. there. What? Dude. 
too. What? How? It went off. It went off. alarm going off. It's saying that there's no key, it won't detect anything. It's going off because I had to get out. It wouldn't even let me out. What? The key is literally where it's been all the time, every time. It is not moved. It is exactly in the key holster where it belongs. And it won't start? No. Jerry had to unlock the door for me to get out. Do what? I literally confirmed the key is right there. Yeah, it's it was right. I, I, I put it right there now. Yeah. But look, that's in what? the holster. There you go. Get the f out, dude. Holy yeah. cow! Right here in the holster. Holy cow! No. Go ahead. Swear to God, it sounded like a female voice went, Goodbye. Swear to God. Swear to God. Goodbye. The lady in the white. If you were scared, it's okay. No matter what, your story's going out. And we want them to show love and respect to you in your resting ground. As you drove out, I heard a female voice go, Goodbye. Swear to God. Goodbye. Swear to God. I heard it with the headphones. Which means it's in the recorder. Yes. Everything that goes through the headphones passes through the recorder. I'm perplexed by the car now, sorry. It's just, <laughs> I'm just, I've had the rental car for wow. almost two weeks now. The keys in the holster, it starts. Keep he was up. pressing the F out of it, dude. The F out of it, fam. It will not turn on. If that wasn't the rental car I've had since July 26th, I'd be like, maybe I don't know how to use it. Driven it every day since July 26th, and it's like August 9th. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, honestly. Yeah, I don't know if this is what you're Thank looking you. for, but that's, I mean, it's, yeah, I don't know. No, the, the, this is one of my expectations. Same, to be honest. Jesus Christ. Completely honest. Like, this has been one of our craziest investigations in a very long time. Absolutely incredible. Ever. Wow. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with ever. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being honest, like, because it's, it's so, like, the SLS oven is off the bat. It, it's actually the best we've ever captured with it. These REM pods, again, won't mean anything to you, but the two on the outside have not gone off ever before. The wood box is like one we trust. The cap all that got kicked earlier. No, the cap all over here got kicked. The audio recorder. I mean, all, I don't know. And then you guys, you guys seeing it trumps anything else ever. So the, the green SL lasers moving around. The SLS was 50% when he handed it to me. The moment I got there and it detected the same figure that's supposed to be next to me that drained my, that drained me. Immediately went to 4% and it died the moment we're about to start. He, yeah, like the second he turned the SLS on standing directly in front of the hood of the car with a figure standing there. Just literally on the yeah. on the thing was just like, same thing. Directly in front of the hood of the car, he captured it. Yeah. Uh, I hope the so. The died, so I don't know if it saves the clip when it dies, but your body cam. Mm. It was facing the other because way. Because the screen recorder was on. Was it facing you or that way? It was facing that way. I feel like if anyone asked, it should be you. To ask if she wants to say what her name is. I don't know, I feel like if, any, if she's gonna answer anyone, it'd be you, because I've asked. He's asked, he's asked. We've never got an answer. But 
up to you if you want to. Only if you want to. Before we leave tonight, we just have one last question. Would you mind telling us your name? Maybe. Got one second of recording on there. Before we leave tonight, we just have one last question. Would you mind telling us your name? Mm -hmm. Nothing mm -hmm. I can hear. Mm -mm. How do no. you feel? Good. Good? Oddly, yeah. <laughs> I feel good. Are you glad you did this? Yes. Yeah. It. I thought about it for days just fighting with myself, but I'm glad I came. This has been an experience I will never forget. Thank you for letting us Thank you. do this. We gotta get a group hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get a group hug <laughs> right get now. Here, Evan, out of here. Get in here, Evan. <laughs> Thank you, seriously. Well, goodbye, Good night. Thank you for showing us that you're here and Showing my friends something that none of us had ever seen before. I, I appreciate it so sincerely, and yep. I hope more people start coming here with respect and compassion. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing is, you do not have permission to follow me, attach to me, or anything else of that nature once I leave the bridge. Good night. You do not have permission to follow me. You do not have permission to follow me. You do not have permission to attach to me. You do not have permission to attach to me. You must stay here. You must stay here. Goodbye and thank you. Goodbye and thank you.